Yo, what's going on everybody? Today I just wanted to make a real quick video about my very busy schedule over about the next month and a half. I'm gonna be going to a bunch of different cities and hopefully I'll be able to meet up with some of you guys and go out for a run. Now, a lot of this travel is going to coincide with the ASICS Uplift Tour, which was just announced yesterday. And the first tour date actually is Today, it starts in New York with the Believe in the Run group. Uh, I won't be able to make it there because I have stuff that I have to take care of here in Chicago. But the first stop that I'm going to be joining the Uplift Tour is going to be over in Columbus, Ohio at the Columbus Running Company on June 10th. We'll be going for a run there in Columbus on June 10th. So if you're in the area, I'd love to meet up with you guys and share some miles. Then the following day, I'm going to be heading back to Baltimore. So I'll be leaving the van. The van's going elsewhere. I'm going to Baltimore because on June 11th, that is going to be the Believe in the Run Summer Grit kickoff party. I know you guys have already heard about this and are planning to make it there. I think it's going to be a super fun time. I went to the summer grip party last year when they first opened up their offices in Baltimore and I had a fantastic time getting to meet so many of you guys, getting to meet some of the other reviewers and people that I've been seeing uh, on YouTube, on Instagram and reading all of their content. And so it was just a really great time to spend some time with a bunch of other running nerds and just talk about running and shoes all day long and this year they're going to make that party bigger than ever so i'm super excited to go the following week after that is another kind of departure from the uplift tour but i'm going to be running a race i'm going to be running grandma's marathon in duluth minnesota uh, that's a saturday race so the 17th the day before the marathon if you guys are going to be running grandma's make sure you get there by friday because we'll do a little bit of a shakeout run on friday before the race uh, that one i'm going to be there kind of solo by myself so it'll be a little bit of a smaller thing but hopefully we'll get a really good crew of people together getting ready to run on what i think is going to be a fantastic course and should be some fast running conditions for the race. Then the next time that I meet up with the Uplift Tour is going to be in Denver. June 29th, we're going to be running, meeting up at another running store in the Denver area. Stay tuned for more details on that. But if you can't meet me on June 29th, hopefully you can meet there because then you'll be able to check out the van and we'll have a lot of other stuff that ASICS is going to be powering and help making it even more over the top of an experience. But after that event in Denver, I've got a little bit of time, so I'm actually gonna stay in the Denver and Boulder area. So hopefully I will be able to meet up with some of you guys there. I'm working on planning some of this other stuff that I could do in between tour stops on this uplift tour. So hopefully that'll be some fun stuff that we can all do together if you're in the Denver area. After I'm in Denver, so I'm going to go from Denver on the 29th, stay there for a couple of days. I'm flying directly from there to Mammoth Lakes, California, and I'll be there for a couple of days with the main purposes of the trip is to go there with the Uplift Tour van, but also check out the Mammoth Track Club's track. I hear the facility is just absolutely beautiful. And then on the 4th of July, that date itself, I'm going to be running the Mammoth Footloose Mile. Now, I'm super excited for this because the race looks like it's a lot of fun. And I haven't run a timed mile in over 25 years. So we'll have to see if I can get anywhere close to what I used to run a mile back in high school. So that should be a lot of fun. If you guys are in the area, hopefully I'll be able to get a chance to meet up with some of you guys. And then after that, the next time that I'll be meeting up with the Uplift Tour will be in Eugene, Oregon for the World Championship. The main thing that I'm going to cover is the marathon. And with the marathon, there's also a super unique event. It is the Uplift 5K, where the marathon course for the World Championships is going to be a looped course and regular non-elites like me are going to be able to race on that marathon course at the same time as the world championship athletes but we're going to be racing a 5k so you have to be able to run a 5k within a certain specified amount of time so that way you don't interfere with the race it should be a super weird but fun 
an exciting event. So hopefully I'll get to see you guys. If you're gonna be up in Eugene catching any of the action for World Championships, I'll be there. A lot of other people are gonna be there too. It feels like the whole running world is going to be in Eugene this summer. So I'm super excited, not only for World Championships, but also for the lead up the next month and a half is going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited to be able to share some miles with you guys and take some group photos and some selfies. Now, before I finish this video for today, there's one last thing that I wanna talk about. ASICS was really excited about the Charity Run of the Week program that you guys and I have been working on over here, and they wanted to help uplift that as well. So they're gonna be donating for the rest of the year $400 per week to a charity runner of the week. So that way we could take our group giving and make that even bigger. So I'm super excited and very thankful for ASICS for helping me to elevate that program. If you are a charity runner and you haven't been a charity runner of the week yet, make sure to send me your link. You could always email it to me at co.mike at gmail. The only thing that I ask is that the charity that you're running for is a 501c3 a charitable organization or similar, depending on whether you're in Canada or in the UK. It has to be an official registered charity. And also preferably it's gonna be connected to a race so that we could support those charity runners that are working and running to improve their local community. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs and I will see you hopefully in a city near you. Yo, what's going on?